it's science time with Hoover and Sparrow. And so they build. This is a book about animals and the unique nests they build. I'm going to read about three of the bird nests in this book. And if you think it sounds interesting and would like to check out the rest of them, I suggest you find this book at your library or an ebook so that you can enjoy it. The first one is about a bowerbird. A male satin bowerbird is looking for a mate, and so he builds. Satin bowerbirds live in the rainforests of Eastern Australia. When the male is ready to attract a mate, he clears a site in dappled sunlight and shade on the forest floor. Then he builds a bower of sticks and decorates the ground with whatever bright objects he can find. Parrot feathers, shells, flowers, fruits, leaves, and even scraps of cloth. Most of the objects are blue and the bowerbird often paints the inside walls with the blue juice of berries too. He carpets the open end of his bower with twigs, making a stage on which he will perform his courtship dance. In the efforts to attract a female satin bowerbird, she will enter his bower and wait inside to mate with him. Then the two birds will desert the bower for a nest built by the female in a nearby tree. Swallows are ready to breed and so they build. Swallows fly almost everywhere in the world apart from the Arctic and Antarctic, though they winter exclusively in the Southern Hemisphere. They normally build their nests on a sheltered ledge or beam, perhaps inside a barn. They begin by plastering mud from a nearby pond or stream onto the walls above the ledge, then build up their nest in, a semi, in semi-circular layers of mud balls, adding grass and straw for extra strength. It may take as many as a thousand mouthfuls of mud carried back one by one to build a nest. Swallows often return to the same place each year, repairing their nests with fresh mud and straw. A tailor bird will be safer if she hides her nest and builds, and so she builds. The tailor bird lives in southern China, India, and southeast Asia, and the female usually nests in a garden or on cultivated land. She chooses one or two large living leaves on a tree and draws their edges together using her beak and feet. She makes small holes down the sides with, her, with the sharp point of her beak. Then she twists spider's webs, bark, and plant fibers into threads and pushes them through the holes to hold the leaves together. Each stitch is fastened with a rough knot. Inside this leafy pocket, the tailor bird can build her nest of grasses, plant down, and fibers safely camouflaged among the trees. Well, this is a fitting book for a sparrow. And so they build. In this book, we shared a few different kinds of nests that animals build. And so we're gonna challenge you today to build a nest for your peep. Now, as you know that we learned from the book, that it doesn't have to be a bird that builds a nest. There are lots of different animals that build nests. Like, what is this, Mrs. Hoover? Oh, it looks like a type of wasp nest. Yeah, and you can kind of see on the inside. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of interesting, yeah. isn't it? So Ooh. your challenge today is to build a nest, and you can use whatever materials you like. Mm -hmm. So you might have some straws around the house, Maybe some, some toothpicks. Yep. Or some craft sticks. Maybe some string. Yep. Or yarn. Or there might be other things that you found around the house that you could use to build a nest. Maybe you've got some old leaves that you found outside. Yep. I think birds use leaves, yep. even. Or e any other animal. Mm -hmm. So build those nests, and we would love to see those pictures. And my class, if you want to log in using your, uh, your home login, 
for Class Dojo. Upload those pictures for me, please. In my class, you can go to Class Tag and do the same. If you're not in our classes, you can comment on this video because we would love to see all your creative nests that you've built. So, nest easy this evening, boys and girls. Bye, little birdies.